Hello, welcome to my sewing vlog. My name is Katie and my YouTube channel is The Little Walking Foot. Today I'm going to bring you um, a really quick uh, little video about my unboxing for the Sew Haley Jane sewing subscription box for the month of April. So if that sounds of interest to you then stay tuned and please feel free to like, subscribe, comment below, that would be great. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. So today um, I received my box. Um, this is Friday, um, I'm not actually sure what the date is, is it the 12th today? I'm uh, not sure. <laughs> and I have already opened this box. So yeah, let's get stuck in. So you're greeted with the yellow paper as ever. And yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of this box in all honesty. Um, I, think I, I think I know what I'm gonna use the fabric for. Um, it is a little bit out of my comfort zone is, is all I would say. <laughs> right, so uh, yeah, I've took the tag off there and as ever there is this beautiful magazine issue number 65 wow and yeah i've had a good read through that there's some lovely things in it as ever um usually get a cup of tea and and read through this um there's a lovely uh, interview with jess who who did the um so yellow for endo um challenge um and really inspirational there's some beautiful makes in here. Um, I won't go through them all today, but suffice to say, um, all the ladies um, met the challenge of making some beautiful makes. And this page I like because this is all the different makes from other subscribers and what they've done. Um, I think this is a really good idea using the chiffon for um, sleeves a pogo nip with the fleecy material and i love this the um, vincent van gogh starry night fabric has been made up into a purse or a wallet a fl flip clutch wallet by spencer og um so yeah some lovely inspiration there the sweet treat is some refreshers. Now I've not had one of these probably for about 30 odd years, so I'm looking forward to that. The notions are these lovely buttons. Um, I think one of them's flipped the other way, but um, these blue buttons, I think they're meant to be a bit bone-like, I think it says. So yeah, they're lovely. They're gonna go come in. <coughs> And this I was really intrigued by actually, the, um, sorry it's shining a bit, <laughs> the um, cross stitch and I've never done cross stitch before and it says perfect for everyone including beginners but I'm over the moon that it's a bee because I'm from Manchester, I live in Manchester and uh, the busy bees are, are um, kind of our city's motto, they have been since the Victorian era so um, I'm looking forward to trying that. Not sure if I'm going to be any good at it, but everything that I need is in there. So that's that one. The additional fabric this month is a viscose and it is this. Wow. <laughs> and it is really beautiful. It's very soft. Really lovely. I'm just not sure what I'm going to be able to get out of a meter. Um, not sure. I have tried the Ogden Cami and I just couldn't get it to fit. So um, I'll have to have a think about that. Or it would make a lovely lining for something. I got the thread. And yes, this is the main fabric. It is a viscose. 
and wow <laughs> it is this huge 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 tie-dye um, I think there's a couple of different colorways from even in the magazine the color I've got is this really really vivid orange blues there's a bit of that kind of peach fuzz um, so yeah I, I'm a bit stunned in all honesty um, I'm thinking that um, maybe a pair of trousers, like the Saguaro trousers, might be nice, some floaty trousers um, in that. But the only thing that worries me is, you know, if that ends up being on your bum, um, I don't know whether it'd look very nice. <laughs> or the other thing I was thinking of is a bias cut skirt uh, I've not done anything on the bias yet and I have been having a look at some patterns of late with that usually a bias skirt I think tends to be like that kind of satin satin material but maybe this might be nice um, yeah I'm just I'm just a bit whoa <laughs> but yeah that's that's this month's you know it's always a surprise um gets your brain ticking over doesn't it thinking about what you can make now in the background on the door is um something i'm working on at the moment it is made from some so Haley jane fabric that i'm sure it was this year but i can't remember if it if it was january or february it doesn't really look like a a February kind of um, fabric but um, it is I think it's a viscose um, and yeah I'm making a lie robe but as a kind of duster so I'm hoping to get that done really quickly okay well thanks for joining me short but sweet um, and yeah I will sign off now and see you soon